How's it going, guys? Just eating some nuts. Welcome to game three. Uh, game three. Game three of the Algoma Gaming Activities Media and Entertainment Club. We have Terran. Seedsy's playing Terran. My favorite race. I finally know what I'm going to say. He's definitely going to be going Marines, Marauders, some combination of Medivax or something or the other. Sorry to burst on you, Al, but Terran has a soft spot in my heart. A soft spirit in my heart. They do. Yes, they I'm do. Trying to mute it. Don't and, worry. Um, now we have a button for it. That's cool. So, we got uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Algoma Games Activities Media and Entertainment stream StarCraft 2 match number 45 between L and CZ. Um, CZ with that supply depot going down out front to wall, potentially. Um, L sending the drone, or sending the overlord out to go see what's going down. This map looks absolutely lovely. Um, I really wouldn't mind playing on this map in the near future. Um, we have seeds currently just pumping out some, um, some SCVs. Um, looks like we got drones going out. Same, same thing as usual, so I guess I'll throw a little plug in here. Ladies and gentlemen, Corn Flakers and Keto from Coffee Pot Gaming. Check us out on Owns. Check us out on YouTube. Follow us, or like us on Facebook for tournament information. We're, um, recently fa funded, founded, formed, uh, Northern Ontario Pro you Gaming Group. Nuts. You will love our nuts. We love the nuts. Uh, these nuts, not your nuts. Send us your nuts. Who knows? We might like them. Nuts. We'll uh, or, or, or your coffee. we'll review your nuts. We're Who knows? For um, so currently seeking Folgers current, sponsorship. Yeah, uh, or if you're a or if you're a Folgers rep, you know you could uh, sponsor us and we can drink a coffee and we'll talk about it. Come play, play with your coffee. Play with your coffee. Play with your nuts. We'll slap your coffee. We'll Anyways, your coffee, this, your S nuts. this SCV, uh, L sees this SCV here. SCV does have the ground advantage, so I do think he'll be able to uh, get that... Um, this thing? This thing that gives you uh, vision. That's not that oh, thing. wait, no, it's this thing. No, yeah, right there. That it went past. SCV's yeah. going to go check Trust out what's going down in Diggity. We got the barracks going up. We got a marine pumping out. We got dual barracks going on. We got the wall, ladies and gentlemen. Pink Floyd would be so proud of this because that straight up is a wall. Um, so we got the mule coming down to do a little bit of extra harvesting. Let's check out the resources here. Resources currently sitting at 495 for the Zerg. Zerg got that early expansion going down. Marine! Oh, the SCV with the bunker going down. I'm gonna quick build it. Try and rush down some Marines to hop in the bunker and take down that hatchery. That, ladies and gentlemen, will be a sight to see. Uh, hopefully we can get that up. Who knows? Blue knows. Schooner. We got the spawning pool going down. The extractor up, but no one working on it. Um, currently supply blocked is the Terran player. Um, that overlord flying right over. Um, nope, nope, no, you're right. He is not. We got that second um, command center going down by CZ. Uh, I'm not the mule working around. Got the orbital center upgraded. I missed that. My mistake. Um, we got that SCV dying to those two drones, but we do have that marine hopping in the bunker, and That's dirty. that is GG, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling this game right now for CZ. The bunker right outside the hatchery, that's got a sting. That's got to sting the Ling production. Definitely cheesy, ladies and gentlemen. Seedsy, yeah, exactly. Seedsy has to be a Protoss player because there is no way anyone else would do something so cheesy than this. Oh, Ling's um, We do have... Yeah, we got the Ling's out. Oh, fantastic. Got dual Ling's. One down. Another group coming down here. And um, we're just going to have to see. Will this base survive? We'll keep it on our camera. And no, it will not. It'll go down. They'll pop out. And they'll take the full frontal force from the Lings. Kudos to L for getting that out there. We got the Overlord nice in the base. Um, CZ still building those supply depots. 2335, 2020 for the Zerg. Gonna need another Overlord popping out soon. Is this an Overlord? Is that? I don't know. Let's see. What are they building? Income spending. Oh, this is kind of cool. We got uh, Zerg spending 600 bucks on the army there. Tech, though. Currently being leaded by CZ economy, pretty much about even. Um, even across the board, we got that Overlord popping up there. Um, CZ in like fantastic state currently. Um, still has a bunch of uh, a bunch of minerals for both teams, about 700 that they could be spending. Um, let's pop over here and see if there's any production on those uh, barracks, which I didn't think there were. Another mule Whoa. flying down there through our screen. We got dual orbital commands coming up. We're going to be seeing a couple of SCVs being trained to work on here. 
for lowering those supply depots for the uh, ease of movement, and hopefully we can take down that. And um, CT taking down that. Supply um, blocked. Yeah, supply blocking the Zerg player. Um, got the queen up. Got the Zerglings. Uh, probably a great idea would be another expansion or something like that, because both teams playing for the third game in a row, still playing a very, uh, very defensively based game. We got those duels. Um, still no stim research, though. We do have these barracks lifting off. Not 100% sure what their plan is. Probably just to get that uh, SCV out of the way. Oh, got a bunker going down there uh, to protect the home base. Is that the only way in? Yes, that is the only way in. Unless they go around the top here and kill that, but we'll see if that happens. Uh, let's check out what's going down here. We got uh, speed links being researched. Um, my, our mining that extractor for the gas. Uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic play going on so far. Hopefully, we can get a couple more drones on there to use some of those uh, seeds. You desperate need to spend some of these minerals. You usually don't want to let it get over 1k if you can. Um, but we got that factory down there. We do have the reactor going up, so we will be able to pump out dual tanks. Uh, have that starport going down there with the dual tech labs, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be seeing marauders here. Definitely, there's the marauder being built by CZ. Um, marauders. Uh, don't know where the marines currently are situated. Uh, if there's more than one, no idea. But they are going to take down that destructible debris. Even though it really isn't doing anything to them, but CZ doesn't like the looks at it. He the destructible debris kind of makes the base look tacky and I agree with CZ taking it out for sure. Um, so we have an Evo chamber just for some basic uh, land upgrades. We are dropping the starport down on that reactor so that will be able to pump out the dual metavex and ladies and gentlemen CZ definitely looking to go Destiny Cloudfist build maybe? I'm not too sure. Uh, we got that tri barracks there uh, set up. Yeah, the bio ball. Nice. It's it's great when you play Terran because you know everybody knows what you're doing and it's easy to cast. We got those four um, four Marauders owning it like it's their day job. We do have Stims researched. Wonder if we're gonna get the concussive bullets uh, researched there. We do have was that dual that was indeed dual mules dropping down. Now probably what a good idea would be. I know CZ's not in a place that will require it, but you could call down, instead of the mule on the mineral line, you could call down the extra um, extra supply on one of your depots that are in a safe location vis-a-vis IE, IE, IE. Data Toss wins. Uh, Data Toss wins in the IPL? Yeah, they, nice. they, they won that match. Uh, against who? I don't know, so Oh, okay. Very well. Um, oh, yes. I can't remember what that team was called. However, we have a boatload of Zerglings. And I guess that I is one hard. of the, uh, I guess that's one of the things that we got Spire, ladies and gentlemen. We finally got Nautilus being built by L. Uh, this is the first game out of three that she has built the, um, built the, the Spire for the Mutilus. Let us know what your strategy is for Zerg. Do you, do you do the, the Bailing Rush or the Zerglings and Bailings and Roaches? Or, and we oh, got, he sees boom, the spire. He, he sees, sees the Spire. spire. Now, if it was me playing, I would not see the Spire. I would just see a bunch of, like, weird-looking buildings that don't look very attractive. However, to the experienced player, he will see that there is definitely a Spire being built, which means Mutilus, which means for him, hey, I might want to get a couple more Marines because I'm going to need a little bit of anti-air. No turrets or anything like that being built. However, CZ does have a boatload of gas. Nothing, nothing being built. I don't understand the... Um, Bad seeds. I don't understand. 26 the, uh, minerals, yeah, he's 26 and 12. Maybe he's AFK. What is he saving up for? Who really knows what he's doing? We're gonna have to take a quick sneak peek. Oh, he has oh. he has stuff inside of his medivacs. He was launching an attack, which takes him away from the base. Um, so that's why he's not paying attention to his current. Um, you know, you could have. Um, they're probably gonna drop from there and see if they can take that spire down. That would be a great idea. Um, but don't can't come to the side of the screen such there. I don't. Such a bad play by. I see it. To do what? He's not going to get anywhere. He just wasted a ton of time. I'm just going to eat some nuts here, ladies and gentlemen. Please awesome. excuse me. Awesome, guys. He's hoping to take down that spire, but it didn't happen. Now he's actually started producing again. Well, we can see we got a bunch of Vikings yeah, coming yeah. up. That's great because CZ recognized oh, that so. he doesn't have any anti-air. Um, yeah. Since the Vikings can only attack air units, it's because also a good idea to get against drop. that spire. They can drop. Oh, they can drop down, yeah. They can drop down and turn into 
or Vikings. Oh yeah, I can switch into assault mode, yeah, yeah. Or Vikings and Morlocks. And uh, dropping those uh, Marauders down for the quick heal by the Medivac back at base. Absolutely love Terran. Are you doing a siege cast or a... Uh... I, I'm sorry. I, I I absolutely loved. I love Terran. Utilize. We had we had Nutilis popping up from Al. Eight of them. Um, let's see what else is she building. If she can get that queen out of the way, I can do a fantastic job of letting them know what's going down. Um, and we have what did I? Oh, okay. So we have the army of mutes going down. Oh, perfect. Finally figured out how to do that. Let's follow these Nutilis around. And see what they're up to. Checking out the scene. Oh, nice little Vespian gas right there. Uh, don't really understand how gas can be mined out of concrete, but in a, in a city in the sky, nonetheless. But extracted. Yeah, uh, mine rate. Mineral, mineral and harass indeed by these mutilists. However, they're going after the building, not so much the drones. Yeah. I would definitely be go. attacking the SCVs, and we got that tank coming in there to try and do. I would definitely be taking out those uh, air units as soon as possible. Um, try to get rid of those medivacs because without the medivacs, you ain't getting healed. So, and we got those Vikings up there to deal with the Mutalists, just like I said before, fantastic counter by Seedsy, but a little too late, we got those 11 Mutes versus those 4 Vikings, and it's just not going to be able to work out. What are these buildings here going up? We've got dual command centers, looks like he's going to be building them, lifting them off, and dropping them, probably in a location that is difficult to get to, and I know, ladies and gentlemen, by looking at the minimap, you can see that Seeds has built another command center up here. Still waiting on the third base expansion from the Zerg. Popping out more units, are they? I do not know. It doesn't look like it. But they have dual hatchery. I have no idea what the point of that is. Probably just to get some more units. Quicker, faster, better, harder, faster, stronger. Great tune. Um, so it looks like we just got a couple more uh, a couple more tanks. A couple more... Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> a couple more tanks. A couple more Vikings coming out. These barracks is just building their uh, prospective units, i.e. marauders and marines. And that just looks like the juiciest army I've ever seen in my life, ladies and gentlemen. This looks like it's going to be fun in the sun proceeds. And um, we got this one up here. This SCV not doing much. But hey, maybe he's on break. Who knows? It looks like he's worked five hours. He deserves one for lunch. So take it. Um, Zerg. Please do something so I can say something about you, such as, oh, look at those Zerglings being built. Ooh, that's a lot of Zerglings that's being built at once. So, you know, hopefully the Zerglings can go in. If she can micro this properly, the Zerglings can go in and take out the brute uh, brute damage by the Marines and the Marauders. And those Mutalists can just try and focus on all the anti-air that Seeds has. Once the anti-air is taken out, it's just, it's, the Zerg's laughing. Um, 2k Minerals. High, 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 high uh, resource count for both players. Not 100% sure what their uh, plan is here, but income we see. It's about split even on the gas. 45 harbiters. What? Armies. Armies what? Oh, check yeah, let's check out the army tab. This uh, balance is as an even army. That's going to be exciting. A huge battle CZ does have the advantage there with about 10 more um, 10 more supply, but those tanks do take a lot to build, so that could be what's taking up so much. Oh, that was a good nut. What's this one? It's like a pretzel nut stick? Oh, it's so tasty. It's like it's soaked. I like that one. Mm, yeah, I like that pretzel nut stick. Perfect balance of salty. This game is also sponsored by Savory Sizzlers. Five bucks from your local no-name brand store. Gotta get them savory sizzlers. Sizzling, savory goodness. Maybe we should talk about the game, uh, since it's what we're here to do. You can just see, it's a total show. The Zerglings, um, the Zerglings did do what I suggested they did, though. They did take out the brood of the force, the brood of the, the damage. And CZ's gonna have to retreat because he has absolutely no anti-air. Hopefully he's, um... Hopefully, um, L can get those metafacts gone, and as soon as the metafacts are gone, the Marauders will just fall eventually. Will they get the Hive down? Yes, they will. And, uh, looks like, uh, I don't know what to say about this, but it looks like the Marauders have done their damage. That would be a fantastic time to counter, because Seeds did just pretty much send everything that he had. He does have those that turrets there, but he doesn't have turrets down in this base. Oh, these factories do not look good. 
I'm thinking oh, Thor's. Thor's. I'm definitely thinking Thor's on that. L has to counter fast. She has the army. She has the resources. She has the time. Just go. What? I have no idea what you're waiting for. Go. Please, for the sake of all that is right and holy, move your army and take that Terran base. You can win this game right now and take a 2-1 loss in the series. It doesn't look like she's going to be doing much. She's a defensive player. Maybe maybe she would be better off playing Protoss. Who knows? Um, yeah. Hopefully we can finally see something here from the Zerg player. We have another, uh, like I said, those bases that were right here, they've been lifted off and transported to Nyan and to Hien. And with all these turrets oh, around Hien, and ladies and gentlemen, this looks like a... Um, this looks like an alpaca farm, but substitute the alpaca and put in a mule, and you have Seedsy's, one of Seedsy's many, many expansions. Let's just, let's just marvel at this massive amount of mules. Or this massive amount of mutilisks. I wonder if she's uh, researched any uh, upgrades so far. Boom, there we go. Research upgrades being researched currently. Um, second hatchery, build in something, build in some larva. Larva's good to have. It's it's really tasty, so I hear infestation pick coming up. Would be nice to see some ultralisks from the Zerg player. Um, these larva really need to be uh, doing something. Um, They're bored. They're just chilling. Can we? Out. Can the larva go attack? Like? No, they can hang out really well. Mm. They just chill. And um, we have absolutely no units. No production. <laughs> Zero production. We have. Uh, we have. Spent. He's got no money. He's spending it somewhere. I wonder where it's being. Maybe is it being spent on these upgrades? Oh, he's got like no income. That's what's going uh, on. Oh yeah. Well, look at all the. As you can see, he has a bu a bunch of drones just being completely uh, not macro correctly. A ton of minerals so to be used here, and this is definitely going to be a setback for L. Even though all oh, seeds he booms with the um, with the CV as I would like to call it, and ladies and gentlemen, we see those stores we were talking about earlier. Just getting pumped out like it's a day job. Tons of farm from Seedsy from this upper base here, and from the mule base that we saw earlier. Lovely little turret defense. Um, I wonder if that's going to be able to do much. Um, it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, we got uh, we got an army going on right here. Let's follow this. Thor's destroying the mutilists. Thor's destroying the mutilists. Medivacs healing the Thors for whatever damage they did take, which was none. And the Marines taking the brute of the damage, which they do so much. I have no idea what just happened. Um, taking so, taking rid of that uh, stuff because it, it makes it, it makes the map look so like. Tat, uh, tacky is the word I'm looking for. So, so let's just follow these Thors. Five, four. No, I can't even get like one second on that. Like, let's say one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Five. Five seconds and the base is gone. These gentlemen, stings aren't even pop on these Marines. Zerglings coming up from behind and just trying to be like, what's up? This one Muta probably has what it takes. Never mind. No, it doesn't. Maybe this that. Muta. No, the next <laughs> Muta. I bet you anything the next Muta will know what it is doing. The Muta will play the meta and destroy the Thors single-handedly. It's the that comeback a, kid, ladies and gentlemen. Line. Let's get okay. these uh, let's get these queens out here. Maybe they can sacrifice themselves for the greater good. The utilitarianistic queens. Uh, that is a fantastic army just to marvel at. And it's the Marines, it's the Medivacs, and it's the Thors because we did not see a push from the Zerg player. If we saw a little bit more aggressive playstyle, which is the innate playstyle of the Zerg, it would have been, uh, it probably could have been GG or it would have been a lot closer than it currently is. But that lack of production there, you can see the lack of gas, the lack of minerals in compared to Seedsy with almost, that's a 5, I thought it was a 9, I almost lost it. I was going to become <laughs> hospitalized for at least a week if that was over 9k minerals because he did have that huge, um, no they don't, we have those two bases in the bottom. Perhaps if uh, we can get a little bit of supply, um, Mutalisk production has now been stopped, but there has been no Mutalisk built. Unfortunately, couldn't have taken that advantage of that Spire still being up. Um, I know it's easier said than done, but uh, that's a lot of Thors, and 
I I am just I'm beside myself with that the amount of foes there are. Just killing off the last of the um, the last of those uh, overlords, trying to get as much uh, damage done as possible. I mean, the main base is taken out. All the tech is gone. Uh, this item that has 2k hit points <laughs> drops like it's nothing. This one having 15. Like this one. Yes, it, it definitely is implies Snoop Dogness. The the law of Snoop Dogness is uh, it just drops like it's hot. One th I don't know what he's trying to do. Why is he just trying to troll? Check that he's definitely just trolling. Like they just could just totally end this game. It's uh, it's going. we've uh, we've seen a f full sweep from CZ. complete domination. Across all different playstyles. Oh, we got a hatchery going on. Starting out with Protoss, starting at second game as Zerg, oh. and finally dominating as Terran. Picking the Terran map as well, Metropolis. Or oh, me that Metropolitan. That Metropolitan, I do believe this is the map. Check them minerals. Dem minerals, ladies and gentlemen. It, absolutely insane. Protection. Uh, oh, just an insane amount of units lost. Check that out. Seedsy only losing, not even losing a hundred units, which I think is just outstandingly well done macro job by Seedsy to make sure he keeps. Uh, yep, mi micro. Yeah, what's macro? Macro's the big. Micro's yeah. the little. Okay, it makes sense. A micro's a lot of little things. I wish you could click on these no. and go check them out, but. Uh, yeah, micro's moving one thing. Macro is keeping production all over. Oh, look at that. Just the amount of money spent on army is pretty much, like, it's only 3k more. It's only 3k more, but that 3k, I guess, bought probably the 2 or 3 4s. Got some good counters. But that tech, that tech is just what counts. It's it's not about, it's not always about having the biggest army, which uh, which we saw here. If we, can, if we can see the amount of units, production, no. I don't know what tells us the amount of units built, but the Zergling units, I know you're supposed to mass them, but a pretty good strategy to do is um, is not only to mass them, but to upgrade them so Just that you don't need anymore. as many. I know you guys may think that it's a stupid idea, but in Warcraft, upgrades were a lot more important than numbers, so... Upgrades are important too. Oh, No, <laughs> it's definitely going to be, and that's the game. And that, the game has ended. Seeds has taken it three games in a row. Thank you for coming out and watching the stream here at Algoma Games Media Activities and Entertainment Club. I messed that up. My apologies. Born Flakers Keto A Game from the Sioux, Ontario, Canada, Planet Earth. Peace out. I need to alt tab with this hand. So, P peace out. I could have all tabbed. I could have all tabbed with this hand out. too. But, anyways. Drop all this out. I, and that too. Drop that as well. <laughs>